Lori Laughlin isn't letting the past get in the way of her present. In a new interview with First for Women magazine for their April 26, May 3 issue published on Friday, April 26, the former Full House star, 59, opened up about how maintaining a healthy lifestyle and positive outlook on life has helped her get to where she is today, every day, we're met with different obstacles. But, for me, it's like that song says, I get knocked down, but I get up again, Laughlin said, adding, nobody said life was going to be a breeze we all make mistakes, but the important thing is to persevere, Laughlin recently proved she had a sense of humor when it comes to her own past, guest starring on an episode of HBO's Curb Your Enthusiasm's final season, which parroted her 2019 college admissions scandal. The Win Calls the Heart actress noted that she's been working on herself the last few years, and one of the most important things on her journey to happiness has been learning to ask for forgiveness. That means learning to forgive herself and others, too that I am not one to hold grudges. We're all put into this world, and hard stuff happens. You don't know everybody's backstory and nobody is perfect, she continued. We've all been in positions where we need to ask for forgiveness. But to ask for forgiveness, I've learned that you first must learn to forgive others and yourself. I was always taught to let stuff go, and I think for your own health, it's important to do that. Lives too short to hang on to regret and negativity, Laughlin, who rose to fame in the 80s thanks to her roles as Jodie Travis on the soap opera The Edge of Night and Aunt Becky on beloved sitcom Full House, wed husband Massimo Ginelli in 1997. The longtime couple share two daughters together, Isabella, 25, and Olivia, 24. Even though she's a busy wife and mom, Laughlin knows the importance of recharging both mentally and physically, telling first for women that she loves to indulge in me time, which includes enjoying the early hours of the day in solitude and golfing that I am terrible at it, but I enjoy the game. It's a nice way to relax, reset and to get away from your cell phone, she said of the sport, Laughlin added, also, I enjoy spending time at home by myself. I love to get up early in the morning and have my coffee, meditate a little, go through the news and see what's going on in the world. The kids are out of the house now, my husband goes to work early, so it's just me. Life is so busy, so it's nice to slow down and enjoy not doing much of anything, Laughlin also revealed one of the simple pleasures that brings a smile to her face immediately watching every silly dog and cat video out there that I just love them animals bring me so much joy, and I think they're so hilarious, she added, while the Summerland alum enjoys her alone time. She told the outlet that helping others is also a driving force behind her own happiness. Thank you, you have successfully. Subscribed, subscribe to newsletter subscribe by signing up. I agree to the terms and privacy policy and to receive emails from what's the gossip deal of the day act fast this Stanley Ice Flow Tumblr is on sale. View deal check our latest news in Google News follow us check our latest news in Apple News follow us you have successfully subscribed. By signing up, I agree to the terms and privacy policy and to receive emails from what's the gossip check our latest news in Google News check our latest news in Apple News volunteering doesn't just help others, it feeds your own soul said Laughlin, who is an avid supporter of Project Angel Food. I had some downtime and a friend said she could use some help there. I ended up loving it and kept going. I drop off meals and check in on people it's been great and though it's been an uphill climb over the last few years, the Hallmark actress credited her unwavering faith as to what's kept her pushing forward that I feel there's a higher power looking out for us, guiding us or carrying us through the tough times, she explained. There's a lot of depression and anxiety in the world now, and I can't help wondering if it is due to a lack of faith. If you don't believe in something bigger than yourself, life is so much harder. I also believe that we have guardian angels mine could be my father, my grandfather, my grandmother. I just feel there's someone watching over me.